All right, so today we're doing a series of 2015 Marvel Hero Mashers or Marvel Superhero Mashers. And these are the new 2015 figures, 2015 characters. We'll do them one at a time. So for this video, we're doing Scar, the son of Hulk. And here's they share the same basic packing, the only different in the back and obviously in the name right there. So that's the packaging. Here's the rest of the assort assortment. I haven't picked up these two though, but we'll see. Uh, what's disappointing about these new figures is that they look great. I mean, they're a nice addition to whatever Marvel shelf you have. They stand about five and a half inches tall. The problem is with these new figures, they, Hasbro has decided to just do away with certain uh, joints. Like for the shoulders, it's only a swivel joint. It can no longer go in and out. And for the leg pieces, these are like solid pieces now. They don't have ankle joints anymore. And that's cost-cutting measures for Hasbro. That's really trying to put a dampen on the playability of the figure. I'll show you the Hulk figure that I want that I reviewed previously. And here you go. And if you notice, this one has a full range of articulation. It's got ball hinge shoulders and the ankle rocker joints. And maybe Hasbro thinks that kids don't need that, but actually that's a very uh, essential part in the playability for the figure. Now you have a very static uh, figure. Sure, it can still go do that, but that's that's all you can do. I mean, how is he gonna do? I mean, you need the Hulk to be massive, right? To You need him this big. So you need those shoulder joints. And, Unfortunately, Hasbro decided to do away with, with that. So, let's look at this Scar figure. He comes with a battle axe. That's great. I um, wish he had a sword as well, but, I mean, he has room for that. I mean, you can mix and match. You can put more uh, weapons here from other Masher figures, so that's fine. He's got that belt, that weapons belt. That's great. This uh, loincloth is molded in. That's nice. Uh, he's got metal... Um, forearms, which I'm quite surprised. I know these are the only metal bits. This should have been green, but Hasbro was too lazy to to paint it. I don't know. Cut costs again. Two silver and brown. That's the only paint they used. So as it is, as a display piece, he looks great. He can hold the axe on his right fist, but just like that. I like it here. I mean, he's great as a display piece. Sure, you can mix and match. Maybe you can, but this is no longer removable. The only thing you can remove is this. Well, I don't think you could remove it in the first place with the other figures. But anyway, um, you can remove the the legs and swap them with other masher figures. But it's just very static in the arms and the legs. So that's all you can do with it. No waist, anything. But the head retains all the articulations. The hips, I'm glad they didn't take out the hip motion yeah these are these are these because you need to, they need to be swapped here and there i think so that's why they didn't shake it off but other than that uh it's a little bit disappointing this scar figure i was looking forward to it it's going to get an eight out of ten for me great paint apps great sculpt but the articulation just puts a big damper on it the unpainted fists the lack of weapons just an eight out of ten for me but good enough job hasbro so the that's the marvel superhero mashers scar son of hulk thanks for watching